Dominique. My mom has that camera. Because remember last time we talked to you, I had to quit. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And I just, I mean, like, I, I want the digital one. Expressed that I really wanted yeah, to Yeah, that was one step above this. Hi, Ed. How you doing? Can you, you say, say something? The PowerPoint presentation for me. <laughs> I'll do writers also for a while, but... Um, I really emailed yesterday. I forgot. Um, my cousin Jessica... And that night we actually drove into Harrison and... Oh, God. Vegetable thing? We don't care. I always got the camera. See how good this night shot is? Did you just buy this thing? Just bought it. Uh, is it coming with us very cool. It is. It's going everywhere with me. <laughs> I'm going to take it with me in the car so I can shift through five speed steer. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> hey, why don't you put your. Is this thing on? <laughs> <laughs> now you're really going to regret that when I show the tape to other people. I always sound nasally on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's night shot. It's probably going to be totally black like Blair Witch. Look at all these voices. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? What the hell is that? It's a husky! Well, it's got, uh, it's got uh, image uh, something. Stabilization. That's the bill. That's Randy. Caroline, whose face you saw closer earlier. Get the bear. This is Lori. Can you see anything in there? And uh, the ass of the host. Same time, you just go along the Missouri side, and it's a lot. Jeez, it looks like it's like six o'clock in this thing. It's really picking up a lot of light. Look at that. Wow. Can you pick up? Those schools is like a setting for night shots, and it opens the aperture on it. It must be. Well, it's all green when you do that, I guess. He said, and I don't know. Well, Casey does that. This was his belly in the menu. Of course, I wouldn't put it in the button. It's something easy. Yeah. This is a very new thing. Oh, there it is. On. Night shot. See how it's all green? Mm-hmm. Oh, I need to put some crosshairs on here. So there's too much light. Oh, the light's on. <laughs> no, is it? Yeah. No, it's not. The red light? There's, there's a lot of red lights on. <laughs> there's three red lights on. Look at her. She looks like she's deer in headlights. <laughs> <laughs> Squishing your head. Have you ever been careful? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, we need to race that. Okay, I got that. <laughs> no, it's not being raised. So, how do you view the tape since this isn't a normal size tape? Um, the 8 millimeter you can put in an adapter to put it in your, or you can just put it in a big tape, a VHS tape, and it'll like pull the tape out and expand so you can play it, or you can just hook this right up and do stuff. And you said the 8 millimeter doesn't degrade at all. Probably. That's a lie, but I'm sure. Minimal lie. This is so bad, but my first reaction was. Wow, cool, that's a bad thing. $669. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, and no you know, I knew, I just knew I should. Yeah. Well, that's a steel mill. He's in the steel business. So we got the, and the shop, couldn't figure out, I don't think they ever. Are you looking at my pants? <laughs> and but she couldn't figure out why we weren't going. You know, we're just standing there. <laughs> yeah, it was a few. It was quite are. interesting. Caroline, see? Roy, big thing. You interrupted the bear story. Yeah, I don't interrupt the bear story. No, pretty much. Head finish. Okay. Well, the bear story. I'm scared. So Dick just kind of. <laughs> so wait, what's our pile of sticks going over there? Um, I looked over and like. There's Zoom. Okay, she was thinking, I need to get out my camera, and I'm thinking, we're lunch. <laughs> well, because it's so wonderful. Well, but it was get a picture hamster. of the bear eating me, honey. He, he, he was used to getting chow, and we had chow strapped yeah. to us. Uh, I'm sure that that's how you do it here. Is that the video camera going? What are we videoing? <laughs> yeah, give me some. I have no idea what he's going to do. Plus, he was alone. Nothing. What about you? Here's Mike. Light went off. This is his new camera. <laughs> he's pinching the camera. Ah! Her 
shirts. <laughs> oh, it wasn't on. Yeah, well, then, see, now Walmart's branching out. They're trying to, they're going to start a new, and That's there's some protos down in Arkansas, but it's like, oh, the Walmart, it's covered. And Osco's doing like a neighborhood market, six floors, basically, you know, they're trying to push a store, you want to work there. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that's what I did. Yeah. So I guess when I switch it, it goes to standby? Okay, no, you're still going. I don't know what happened. Uh, you must be hitting it accidentally. I don't know. That's the only thing I can think okay, of. Okay, well, we gotta do it again. Do what? This is my. Oh, this big bright light behind Mike. Who's new camera? And there's the feet. There's my feet. Okay. Ooh. Recently clipped toenails on my dad. They got hygiene. <laughs> there we go. That's his report, right? <laughs> oh my god, he's probably on the Okay. Oh, it's a very bad. You're sitting on the couch, you got a plant on <laughs> yeah, but I was going to just spend three or four hundred dollars, and then they sold me on image, uh, on the image, um, something. Thank you. They sold me on a couple of features I just had to have. On that one. Is that a Sony? Sony. Yes, you got a She's such a ham. <laughs> See if we can get up Randy's nostril. <laughs> Randy, you ready for the facial? The Randy. Close up, I mean. Hey, Randy. You look stupid. Yeah, especially. <laughs> I believe he's giving me a bird. Okay, so how do I do this more? Time. The whole time I was recording him, I wasn't really recording that standby. So turn it off and it says record. Nice. We're going to go look tomorrow. Yeah. I have no Are you made of money, Michael? Oh, lately. I don't do anything for two or three years, then I buy a bunch of shit. That is not true. The truck took me. I wanted that specific. All right, let's get to something. I wanted that four-cylinder two-wheel drive model with just air a year and a half ago. I knew it'd be perfect for the job, for driving. It's got room for equipment. I wanted it. I want it, I want it, I want it. Daddy always told me, you want something? Wait a month. You still want it? Then buy it. I waited a year and a half. And I leased it. All right. Anyway. Sorry. You don't have to defend yourself. Going on a rampage. Yeah. Why do I have to defend myself? No, the point is, I'm not like some little kid. I'm just. What'd you buy today, Michael? That. This. <laughs> today. Yeah. No. Yeah. What are you gonna buy well, I wanted to buy it so that. Well, you guys are leaving, and I thought, and I've always wanted to bring a camera along. Some friends had one, but they'd never loan it to me because they're a big dollar. And when I said we were going to be repelling down rock, they said, "Oh no, not loaning you the camera." <laughs> so and uh, you so I bought it. Huh? You waited about a week. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is well. This is since I started. I always thought I wanted it. When I was in college, I had a camera all the time, and people thought it was going to be some journalism thing. Anyone want cake? What kind of cake? What kind? Lemon cake. Lemon cake. Lemon cake. We have apple pie too. Apple pie. <laughs> you know, I think Mama's she apple pie. pie. <laughs> so you guys come in and eat. I can't eat a whole cake by myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I can do that. <laughs> oh, she bring it? 
Mike, I think you need to go buy a dirt bike, and then I think you I need to go buy a dirt bike. Dirt bike, and then so that you buy a dirt bike. From you. I can be convinced. Okay. I can guarantee you because the other guy at work yeah. has dirt bikes. He yeah. has three of them. Really? And he wants to get into rock climbing. Little we'll trade? Could be. Caroline, you want to use my bike sometime? Yeah. Before I pass it out. Before you pass out? Try it and see if I can get into that. I guess, uh, Eric, the pedal, you know how when you kind of pedal, sometimes the pedal works out of the... That's yeah. a steel bridge. Oh, yeah. Look yeah. at <laughs> 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 the beat rest of my ass. got to get a new crank. <laughs> We got it uh, a couple of years ago. We're in the wrong room. We're in the wrong room. Yeah. I've got spot rechargeable. Double A battery sport. And the, uh, the bigger one probably lasts about Kick. three times longer. That would be nice. So, uh, Here. Look, okay. Fairless Cash with <laughs> And our shop is right next to, I think your whole computer is in our shop, is right next to their mock store. They set up all the products. Yeah. And Where's my cake? And they set up the mm -hmm. Storage. That's my cake. So That's look at my cake. That's nice cake. Grease spot on it. Well, and the clothes like the Duracell. Lush. And he had new batteries. New kind of batteries. Okay. So does that like record everything? No, I got like what do you want to say to me right now? I've got 300 say something. I've got nothing 59 Andy. volts. I mean, we just Use that manly voice of yours. I have nothing to say to you. Brand new batteries. So it's nice. See if you can find it. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure it takes the same type of battery there. I will. Let's take I a look will. at that bike once again. Because I'll never use those batteries before they start decaying. So. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Here's that blonde yeah, beauty so in the corner. Yeah, so find a girlfriend, then Drink. <laughs> What'd you say if I ever find a girlfriend? Yeah, if I had a girlfriend, then, then with all the batteries I have, it should be set up. Start with the toes. Like, what Wouldn't need to bother you. Unless I wear it. I learned this from my father. If satisfying her, she wouldn't need those batteries. Well, that was part of the joke. <laughs> <laughs> Are you bitter? You're bitter. You're bitter. I'm a little bitter, yeah. <laughs> I followed all the wrong paths these, this whole past year. You have? Where'd you ride? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just road riding. I want to do some <coughs> Where? Oh my god, what is that? Did you do before you leave? Yeah, no, but I was just going to say, Allison, we need to ride tomorrow. You're going to Landau? I want to do Alfred. Landau? You're going to Landau tomorrow? You could yeah. go. Okay. We just decided. Climbing tomorrow. Well, why don't and Robbie are going to Truman Lake. We're going to go. No, you're not. <laughs> I don't think Robbie's going to plan anything with Robbie. No. no, that's what he wants. He wanted to go climbing this weekend. Death or do. Death or die. I thought you were going to Truman Lake Sunday. What? Tomorrow. <laughs> right, Truman Lake. Oh, to climb. That's what I said. But I mean, what, did, did oh, I, I, I did, I don't know. Oh. Yeah, I no, we're going to Truman Lake. Like quick drive <laughs> well, that's what he was Saturday, and then, and then I said, no, let's just go <laughs> Sunday because <laughs> Saturday we have to get back in time to shower and clean up for Darren's so party, so let's just go Sunday. <laughs> and uh, the weather's supposed to be clearing up better tomorrow than it was today. It looked like it was going to rain today. So, I guess we're climbing tomorrow. Mm -hmm. If you want, we could all. We can. Hey. Lick your lips. Hi. Get that camera <laughs> going. So what's that viewfinder like? Do you like that? Uh huh. Now you can do night vision. Uh, infrared. Yeah, there's night vision on there. Infrared. Got big red. Infrared. Well, not that. I mean, does it make you sick though? Because so many people were like, and just couldn't stand yeah, it. Not because it was so. It's not. What is that? Really what is that? Huh? Nothing else. It's not. Yeah. Oh, wow! What the fuck is that? They're leaves. Yeah, oh. <laughs> They're rocks. <laughs> it's, it's not it looked really like a piece of nose. It's, and it's not really gross. Yeah. Cheek and everything. Well, that's what I like better. I think it's more... You know, it's just nice shots good. Fly to Chicago. You know, it's just blood and death. Why are you going to Chicago? Probably this last five or ten hours. Me, Tiffany? Yeah. Tiffany's in Chicago. It's kind of... It's really different. I called her. I called her Thursday night when I got home. I mean, how was it for you? Yeah. Yeah. No, I know. So, yeah. so what's the deal? Yeah. Didn't fucking want to tell. I know, I know. So you call her Thursday and? And I just said, well, how'd you do? Because she went to Aspen when we went to Sands. Oh, that's right. The tournament. Tournament. I said, how'd you do? And she said they basically got robbed on. They didn't go one day, but they basically got robbed on. Yeah. 
Some big tournament. Um, her and Carrie. Yeah, it's called Mother Love. It's big outdoor. Oops, pretty scary. I haven't, I haven't heard a whole lot about it. Stop. Maybe HIV positive. I mean, you know. You never know. That's just so awesome. Now you're been putting it in the wrong places. Well, I guess an ER. You won't be putting it in the wrong places. Did I just miss all the, uh... God damn it, I miss all the bumpy penis shot. talk. God damn it. That red button is in the way. And not think about it. Yeah. I mean, what about the bumpy you penis? Know, you can still try. <laughs> it was what? really bumpy. Bumpy one. Bumpy <laughs> stuff. <laughs> In the end. It was like, <laughs> you, really you would have felt yet. that. I mean, it was like. <laughs> you would have felt that. Well, Inside or outside, Allison? I didn't know. I'm not even I didn't notice it. <laughs> what are we talking about? It's just the bumpy, yeah. bumpy penis. So stand this way a little bit. Yes, there you go. Perfect, right there. He's yelling Don't at me to run a real shot. That was the funniest thing. You know that guess? You got a shot in the funny. Funny. I need a gunnery shot. Is that a shot? Because his penis that? hurt from what? like the catheter problem. So the first Where's thing he's yelling is I need a gunnery shot. I go in there, I go, is it burning? Gunnery shot. You know? yeah. Does it go in the penis? Yeah. Yeah. Does it go in the penis? Yeah. 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 Y
I know he's a disgusting piece of shit. Yes. 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 And, he, and it was like, like even 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 on the TV. And he's like, that could be me and you. He's a cocaine addict. He's disgusting. She likes her. I just know what he's doing. He has no idea what he's doing. His dad came in later and goes, he's had two wives before and they've been white girls. How old are you? He's disgusting. Our age. Yeah. Don't you ever get to the point where you're like, I don't want to do this anymore? No, I just, today I was like, I mean, I thought you were just like, well, I'm getting older. I mean, I don't want to criticize what you're doing, but I mean, it's not all like that. You get a guy like that, you know, once in a while. Really? Yeah. Don't turn that shirt anymore. Spotlight on. Shirt away. I don't remember having this much trouble. See, okay. And it goes to night shot, and then it's got to like this. It takes all this light from surrounding areas, and it looks like I've got this spotlight. But you don't. Somewhere else, I don't know. But then it distorts, like if I put it right on Sheila's face, then I can't see anything. And I wonder if that's what the tape looks like, or what? Let's go to IHOP. We've kind of been struggling. Let's go to IHOP. That's good to have on tape. That's what she said to her first date. Let's go to IHOP. I'm telling her about I've seen better days. She's saying her. Oh, I'm away. I'm just. You know, was I at the I don't know the story enough that you feel like I know the story. Okay, turn the camera that way. Sorry. So, anyway, so I already got that over blast thing on tape. Oh, God. Just kidding. I am. Did you shoot a fish? Yeah. Just appear in the side of the ocean. In Colorado. Very fixed my shoe. That was the guy she was Very fixed my shoe. They buried the guy on the rack where I ride. That was in Colorado. Different guy? Same guy. Same guy? Same guy. The Iowa guy? Tell me. Tell me. Yeah. Who are you looking at with that camera? I'm giving up on you. I'm like, damn. Can't see the red light. It's a secret. I got nothing else to do over here. All right. Okay, man. Huh? Okay, man. 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 Okay, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Just wondering. Oh my god. She's sick. <laughs> yeah, her head is sick. I'll pretend I didn't do that. Behind, yeah, like, come on. Come on now, just, just be honest. It's just for posterity, sure. No, no. He's a hottie. Is it? He is. He is. He's. The only way to explain him is cool. He's super cool. Because this guy. What's cool? Met through a friend of a friend in Colorado, and he's just. What's cool? What's cool? His hair's cool. Like he's just got this spiky kind of hair that's cool. And he's just real laid back. And he was born deaf, like not completely deaf, but deaf enough that he has to have hearing aids. And he's so still some other lane sink while he's going down. I think what no. turned you on to him is that he and fixed he your He fixed, yeah, that turned me on. Because <laughs> you were like, oh my I was like, oh, damn, I've been trying to fix these things forever. It was he attractive that he just went, hey, let me go. Yeah, he's that. like, give me those. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> here you go. And I was like, oh, I can fix that. Fix my panel. <laughs> so now that you can only... And, Every is he that effective in bed? I think of him because they fix good. Is he that effective in bed, Sheila? Does he fix your pedal? I wouldn't know about bed. In the tent. tent. Oh, in the tent? Okay. Tent. Sleeping bag? On that. I'm not trying to embarrass you. I'm just on the trying to put it on tape. That was the other Yeah, he was all right. Did he rock your tent? <laughs> I told Allison, I said, if you come back your two to the Coleman tent tonight, you come back to the Coleman tonight. <laughs> Coleman? <laughs> Coleman? <laughs> Coleman's rocking, don't have a knock. Jesus. <laughs> The nylon yeah. of the oh. And you know, it actually is the Sierra. Have you been there? there you oh, oh, you got it. That was like really one of my favorite places. Yeah, I was with Mandy in the corner. I like the Hard Rock Cafe. But they have that. Yeah, what would you like? Yeah. That's just what we think of that.
Yeah, it's <laughs> disgusting. Yeah, it's yeah. too. I like that. I like that because it wasn't as crowded. You know? I really think it had anything to do with me. What? I really didn't think it had anything to do with me when we got grouped together. What do you mean? I don't know. You seem real hoity toity. Real. Oh, shut up! Well, you just did. Shy. That's shiny. Yeah. So am I though, because in college, like when I got my hair chopped off. Then, like a year later, I got all these comments, all these people saying, Yeah, they just thought you were conceited. All the, Diane thought you were hot and shit. Diane wanted to go out with you. Carrie wanted to go out with you. With you. With you. Yeah, it was a black college. With you. I heard that. I was going, Oh, really? And I was like, What the hell is it with that? With you. Find appealing. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of different. The girl. Yeah, dude. Power guy. I mean, he didn't went to your. Oh. You know. Glad you liked it. Sorry. Yeah, we're in traffic. Yes. Gotta love this thing. This is fantastic. I love this. Hi, Randall. Hey, it's Black. What the hell? Hello. Hi. Hey, North Platte has it hanging. North Platte? Norfolk. Whoops, same thing. North Fork was the original pioneer name, and it got shortened to Norfolk. Go, Huskers. There you go. Join all in one. North Fork eventually got shortened into talk about no knife, no spoon, no fork. No fork. <laughs> <laughs> All the no fuckers came to Hastings. No fuckers. Fuckers. <laughs> they got no women there. No fuckers. No fuckers. <laughs> they all went to Columbus. Yeah. She's sort of cute. I had to get a picture of her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, is there, now, see, when this night shot comes on, you're all green, and I can see this big... <laughs> No, I, and really I can see green. this. I am. So there is, well, there is no light, it's I guess. Blood. Obviously, it's I can see. I'm actually an amphibian. You well, check it out. It. Here. <laughs> Take the camera. Yo, baby, and, like, yo. Put, put it on someone's face, and you'll see there's a big Here, layer, right? Here, let me see right? yours, like big mountain boy. I want to be a mountain boy. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> face on there. You can see the oh, like, I'm rugged. On. Yes, I am. I climb mountains, and I hike, <laughs> and I am so fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing because you're from the 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 state of No Valley. No Valley. That was funny. You said No Valley. I said ha ha. ha. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I know you are. Yeah. That, babe. <laughs> yeah. So true. Never it is. It is. When you're around, sweetie. What? what? That's right. There's never a calm moment when you're around. <laughs> no. Well, isn't I mean, look at that. There's like a big... No, I saw your big green like a, blonde. Like I've got the light on. big green blonde. Right on her. And I can't see her face. You wear a green blonde. I can see her face. Green blonde. Well, I can see her face. I think it's because you're close enough. Well, I'll tell you what. Go ahead. Turn the lights off. When, when, when she was sitting in the mirror, I couldn't see her face at all. <laughs> play with it Is that when the light was on? Oh, that's great. Yeah, see, it's reflecting off his face real bad. I can't see anything. <laughs> the light's not off. How rude am I? I know. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. I'll dig into the... He's a climbing freak. Okay. Something like that. What'd she say? That's oh, man. He's a climbing freak. <laughs> am I on? Hold on. I gotta fix my hair. Crimp. Crimpy. Hold on. Come on, Hazel. Make up. Lick your lips. Make them glossy. Am I green? You ready to go, baby? Okay, go. Ready for your facial. For a close-up of okay, you. Okay, ready? Am I, am I how close-up <laughs> am I? <laughs> Michael. Oh, yeah. fellow friend from Nebraska. Mr. Norfolk, not Norfuck. <laughs> I just want to say that I'm just entirely impressed about your climbing skills, the way that you hike, and right. most often how you wrap in your biceps bulge as like, the thing goes like this. <laughs> Who set her up for this? That. You fuckers. And I just, I think you're, this you're, is just, a lot of you're beautiful. And you love his you're married. And I love his truck. No, she's not. No, I'm not. See this? You're engaged. No, I'm no, not. No. Look, it's empty. It's oh, you just said something about a honeymoon. No. Well, what? So that was no a idea. dream I had. It's what uh, I have. I fantasize over it. But it's a different fella each night. So uh, really you know the way to a man's heart is not through his stomach just to flatter him. <laughs> what? 
I, I know how to make a mean meat. Well, Wait a minute, hold on. I'm trying to focus. I don't know what I'm doing here. Through the laundry? Straight through the stern. I'm the ah! Straight, through the Straight through is what? Straight Straight nice. Straight Thanks, honey. Straight through is quick draws. What'd you Who say? told me that? Um, okay, camera oh, off. Broadway production has concluded ago. this point, and if this ever shows up when I'm running for Senate, I know who to blame. <laughs> so take your clothes people. off. <laughs> Done. And this one. Time and date. Well, yeah. I've got <laughs> time and date. Time and date. I've got clo I've got those shots. Or what? The rock chalk pictures? No. This would be nice. I was not completely naked. I was just pissing in the sink because I felt it was necessary <laughs> at the time deal. because the potty was not. I was actually clean. talking about Panama City. City. No, I'd like to know how you're. <laughs> Wait, is there a video from Panama City? No. That dance floor experience is absolutely. I have to say, top notch. <laughs> top notch. I still want to hear more about Tammy's van experience. Oh. What t-shirt contest, baby? Uh, Lori and I. No, it was. They couldn't decide between us. We were both first. Up. What? Wait a minute. Lying. Is this? I was never going to watch. Alright, I'm not even going to ask. Oh, never mind. College, yeah, college, it was that. college spring break. Wow. So do you approve of this? No. Well, you don't I, know while her. It was before I my did. time, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm playing it safe by saying no comment. I have absolutely no right to say anything. I'm just curious. Everyone's a politician at one point or another. <laughs> and she could have done God damn it. There was a whole lot of mean metal down in Panama City. Mean metal, what do you mean? Metal. <laughs> what do you mean metal? Excuse Ask me? Lori, go to Lori, go what to Lori. What was the name of that? Pan shot. No. What was the name of Coolio. that guy? Coolio. One, two, three, four. The little farmer guy. guy. Which one? The little farmer guy. The one on the yacht oh, that I went out with? No. He was the cute little quiet one. Yacht Boy or MC Hammer? No. You're thinking of a different trip. Our trip. Our yeah. trip. Our trip. Our trip. Our trip. Yeah, Pancake trip. <laughs> but oh that, you know that group of guys that we're hanging out with. Ashley had always email Dave. Crystals, funny. I will always email you because you were absolutely one of that one. Is know. that empty? I'm gonna there, the guy that you're hanging out Ashley got was. Ashley had the kissy kick. He was there. Yeah, the kissy kick. You scare Kissy kick. <laughs> For the first she got munchies. Ashley got <laughs> Ashley had her kissy kiss. I mean her kitty, kitty. kiss for the first time in Panama City and Lori and I happened to be laying next to her on the oh. opposite side. <laughs> so let's just go there really? for about two seconds. No, wait a minute. What, the what now? Was what not now? On the bed, on the floor. She was having her kissy kick. <laughs> no. Kitty <laughs> Her kissy kick. Her pussy kitty. legs? No. Oh, her kitty, yeah, that too. Her yeah. kitty kiss. Her little meow. Okay. Okay, well, so, yeah, and, right and then now. she's in the center, and then Lori <laughs> is on the right, and Dana is on the left. On the floor. On the floor. Okay. By ourselves, Matt. So the guy is doing this, and yeah, you're, like, pretending to be asleep. She's lying. Well, she was mad. You were asleep. I don't know what you were doing on the other side of the bed. I know what I was doing on the other side of the bed. What were you doing? And all I know that. What were you doing on the other side of the bed? I know, I know his name. What were you doing on that side of the bed? I can't tell. See this? No, you can't tell. This is for videotape. You can't tell with people, but on videotape you tell. Now, what was the guy's name at your hand? That's what I'm trying to Sex get out of here. Here, here's twenty dollars. Okay. You can no. tell. <laughs> Look, here, See how far our loyalty goes. Camera. Phil McCluskey. Huh? <gasps> Holy oh. shit! It was Phil. Oh. What my. about him? Oh, such rugged hands you have. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Who told you to say that shit? God damn it! That's no, that Dana. I used to date. She I used to, this up on her I own. used to date a mountain man. Yeah, oh. that's what you do. <laughs> All I need is one of them. Watch out for the flowers. Um, yeah. Hi, hi. How you doing? Good. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> These are people. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hello. 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 Hello.
That's a lot. It would. It would. Get it. Get it. Just bear the lock. Save us all. That Figures. Way. Climbers. <laughs> Goddamn climbers. Christ, Keisha. Scared the fuck out of me. That's far too premeditated to be other thing, anything other than human. Let's go find out what it is. Let's all go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Are we doing the Blair Witch? This is Locke. Man, Wait, this is Locke. Oh my god! <laughs> what is that? What is that pile of sticks? Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what is that pile of sticks? See now, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, it's getting close. Now it's cutting again. What's going on? I'll go. Well, yeah, but we'll come ask. back. What the hell is? I mean, what's the purpose? There's no purpose. It's locked. It's locked with it. Do you got it? Mike. What the hell are you about the camera? Can you lock this back up? Yes, Dogs won't get out? Yes. Thank you. Do not piss off people, yes. You guys only have this. Just Missouri Department of Defense.
good for Randy. My glorious neighborhood. How I should zoom on it. Good for Randy. Somebody leaving. There's my two cars. The rodeo and the Honda. Which do I drive to each day? I just don't know. Good way to see if the image stabilization works. Old man. Oh, check my rose bushes. Note the time. Differential. I guess this will be the last you see of a climbing morning unless someone else shows up because the Belair can't film and belay at the same time. That's the oil that came out of the Honda that I need to return to the shop. Been there for a week. Oh, those are my two cars. Single guy with two cars. Sort of amazing. I'll give you two of the rodeo while we're waiting for Andy. Okay, this is it. Beautiful base model. Air conditioning is the only option. But now, filled with monitors. Can you smell? Can you smell the newness? You can probably smell the newness, can't you? Sure. Hmm. Nice little well-designed truck.
Oh, that was fun. This? You got water for me? I got two jugs. Oh, okay. well. Which pack is that? Should I get more? It's fine. Not Note the time one. differential to the audience. <laughs> cool ready? shades. I'm ready. We got a little surprise detour. Surprise what? Detour. Oh, did you? No, We're we will. Why? I can't tell you. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. Okay. Two jugs gonna be enough? I'll go get two more. Okay. Hold on. We're out hunting for climbers today. They sometimes hang out at a place called Cliff Drive. Let's see if we can spot one. Wait, is that one there? Let's look. I think it is. <laughs> what is that that he is doing? Here's how the climbing system works. We have the climber, who's tied to a rope. The rope proceeds up to an anchor point at the top of the climb. From that point, the rope goes all the way down. <laughs> a distance of 200 feet. To an anchor. That is all the climber needs to climb. <laughs> That and lots of fucking insurance. <laughs> you can't say that. No. Now, we can't film him climbing, but we'll tell you about it later. Yeah, boy.
we did a little bit here, but it was a side. It wasn't something you can't push my body up. Yeah. It's a stabilizing pull. Just doesn't feel right. I mean, the answer is just keep it straight.
just saw it and I thought, you know, I don't think you like that. No, it's not that kind of idea. Burn it? Burn it? Burn it? Yeah. Well, no, I don't, I don't know. I can hold out for Christmas. his were in there and his buddy had too much to drink and was just you know asking for the uh, just asking to be in trouble basically and so we were keeping an eye on him. I can't remember what he did but we finally kicked him out. And he was all pissed off, you know that was a problem it was no way. Not that it works on top of it. Can't work on top of very right.
bovine. Direct.
little slack, but.
plays on, sir. Lock and load. Climbing. Should not. Climbing. Climb on. sort of popped into the bottom corner of the frame. <laughs> like it's a hidden camera. Eddie doing this. What's that? I called him this morning and left a message with Eddie. Told him he needed to get out here. Rack twos, next rock twos. <laughs> All right, come down. <laughs> now I'm being conscious. Just wanted to impale your ass on one of those spikes. <laughs> Walk much? In the best direction. I think I got it. Yeah, I love this desperation. Thank you. 
What you think about that? Oh, uh, that was totally intense, totally exposed. You knew, me alive. <laughs> you knew that at any minute you could come off the rock and start cr come crashing down to the bottom and roll down the hill in the mud. Uh, That's terrifying. Got my buddy Mike to trust. That's right. That'd be me. I think I'm done. You're done? I'm starting to get hungry. Hungry? Hungry? I got Hooters Hot Wings in the fridge. Too old for Hooters Hot Wings. Too old? Are you afraid you're going to crap orange eat that stuff? i got to be kind to my colon. <laughs> to the colon in the right measure. It's a very, very, very good sign. Hi, everybody. And he's all spiffy in his Nike Trail Runners, his Grimichi pants. For us, climbing is all about labels. Ooh, let me zoom in. Mountain Hardware. When I first started uh, shopping for shit, I thought Mountain Hardware was about the equivalent of like the Walmart brand stuff. I didn't know. I didn't, you know, I didn't know what to look like. I didn't realize this. No, had not Everest. That's right. That's all they use, isn't it? Yeah. Mr. Brashears. And we went and saw Randy's office today. Tiny cramped little cubicle with uh, a small fan under his desk, so when he takes off his shoes when he gets to work, the whole office smells like feet. And over yonder is a beautiful countryside of 
Kansas City. Wonder if I could zoom in on the. Uh... Now we're done with climbing. Randy had a good day. I love this. Who's this? I don't know. Recording. Make your own video. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty busy intersection. There's a cop up there. There he is. Let's zoom in on him. We're on the road. Now see, watch, this is cool when you zoom in as you're going down the road. Equally weird when you back up while you're going forward. How do I want to go? With blooming mums and all these things, they go in front of an Applebee's in the winter, it might be 30 degrees outside, and they throw all these blooming, nice green plants set them in their containers and spray front. paint the lawn. And, and well, most of it, it's got the <laughs> sidewalk That's around wrong. it. So he'd get the front shot with the light with Applebee's and nice little plants in front. He's doing it in January, November, December, whatever. He's getting all this work done and he met his goal that still allowed him to do the things yeah, that he what wanted to do. Right? Money to spend for those plants. Huh? It was worth it to him to spend the money to have his summer off. Right. Mm -hmm. Opportunity cost. He just prices it into the contract. I mean, it's just, this is what it's going to cost. if you're shooting for Applebee's, you don't worry about peripheral expenses. Right. You just like say, thank you, I'm going to retire now. That's Michael Spillers. Have you met Michael? Michael Spillers? That's, that's the photographer that... Those guys make good shit. Oh! Money. A friend of mine was working for a newspaper, and this guy calls up and says, man, we're doing this huge construction project there in Iowa, Ames, Iowa. We just need somebody to, you know, stop by once in a while and do construction updates. Nothing big, just, you know, drop in. So let me know what your half-day rate and your day rate is. And he, you know, hangs up, thinks about it for a while, and says, okay, well, I'll price him half-day at, at, I'll go low, 300 full day at, or what was it, like 400 and 600 for half-day and day. And the guy starts laughing his ass off. And Jim thinks, oh, shit, I blew it. I priced it too high. He goes, shit! I couldn't find anybody in Chicago for under a thousand. Mm -hmm. You got it. And that guy's going to So he went out there for <laughs> eight it. months, at least $400 once a week. on the table. He made more just stopping by over lunch once a week than he did at his regular job. That's, if you can find it, that's the way freelance photography can pay. Mm -hmm. That's fine and it's a problem, but. You know, you always I mean, be away from her, though. I may always be away, wouldn't you? No, not if I work for her. She's an art director for the biggest, one of the best magazines in town. But so I heard she wouldn't hire you. Bullshit. She doesn't like your style. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> he went down to the farmer's market, <laughs> picked out a basket of tomatoes. I shot them on my front lawn. It took me 30 minutes. They paid me 250 bucks for it. Hmm. And we were together the whole time. Yeah. Where's the loser in that situation? That? Did she harass you at all? No. That? No? She, she art directs and I shoot. That's that's the deal. That When I'm working for her, she is the art director and I'm the shooter. I knew exactly what she tells me to do. And if it's not what she wanted, that's not my fault. I still get paid. And what's she going to do? Hold it against me and not hire me again? <laughs> when she gets half the money. Maybe. So, I actually work for them quite a bit. And if I just upgrade equipment a little bit, I'm, I could be working for my whole because most of their photographers have already priced themselves out of their range. Mm -hmm. Because like the thousand dollar day rate, which most of the people they use are getting above. Wow. You know, I'll still come under because I get to work with her. Mm -hmm. What is this? This thin red line? Yeah. You gotta see the movie. Yeah. I gotta get a hold Excellent of the letterbox. Movie. It's a great movie. It's not like Bright Run. Shaving bread runs bread. Shaving bread. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's one of Greg's videos. Shaving, shaving Ryan's bread. Yeah. Shaving bread. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we rented that last thing. So, this is more 
my story is. Fun party all of a sudden. No. Well, it's, it's, a it's an exchange of ideas. I've heard. Well, no one has you any know, ideas. Most of the people I hang I out with just want to throw just something out because it's going to require no. deep thought on my part to decide I what I want to do. Oh no, no, yeah, that hard see, work. Would be yeah, I mean, deciding what we really, really want to do with our lives isn't. I know, but answer. let's let's throw but, out ideas. But I know it's. I what already you know. Throw that. some out, Michael. What do you? You think? know, starting a climbing gym sounds fun. If I win the lottery tonight, we'll open it. I'll pay oh, you guys all fifty thousand a year. We'll do whatever the hell we want. Pay somebody else to run it. But that's an ideal. For right now, what I really want to do is be economically free from somebody else telling me what they want to do every day. That is my Okay, then my right goal. now, here's the form. Let's throw out some ideas. Let's get a pen and paper. I've already right got now, my plan going. What cost to run this? And time. What's the point of holding back? I mean, you guys are like talking about, we should do this, or this is the way to go. So, come on. What are we waiting for? You want to go home so you can get up for fucking church? We'll yeah. give some ideas then, Michael. Come on. Actually, well, I'm asking. <laughs> I no, have, I've already I'm the guy that's been saying no one has any ideas. Or that no they one already do them when she realism. said it. If they had the freaking ideas, don't you think they fucking already Okay. No, I, I think hold, people hold back. Period. I'm doing it right now. We have a short term and a long term plan for exactly what we want to do with our lives. We've already started it. And it doesn't involve. A huge capitalized business. So that's why this is the only idea I have because this is what I'm doing. Everything that I've ever done that succeeded in my life, I told everybody else, fuck you, I'm doing it. I have no fallback. I learned this from Radar O'Reilly, actually. Gary Berghoff was speaking to a <laughs> yeah, class that came in one day. Hey, he's from Iowa. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. got half a hand. Gary Berghoff yeah. said, there were two people in my acting class at Juilliard or wherever it was that ever made anything out of their lives, anything. There are only two of us that are still professional actors and ever made it. Me and Paul Sorbino, because everybody else has something to fall back on. Everybody. We didn't. If we failed, we were screwed. So, we were pretty well motivated. We succeeded because we had to. That was our plan, we stuck to it and did it. I had my mom tell me so many times, well, why don't you do something practical instead of being a photographer? Well, fuck it, I did it. You know, in an age where white people aren't really popular, I still made it. In a business that's a bitch to get into, I still made it because this is every this is all I wanted to do was be a photographer. So I did it. I didn't give myself anything to fall back on. I found my direction and said, I'm doing it. Period. From the time I started college, I'm the only person I know, save for one, that started and finished with the same major. And sure, it's not accomplishing all my financial and life goals, but you know that's just because of my specific employment position. It's not because I want to do anything else that I've changed my mind. I don't want to be a photographer anymore. I just don't want to do it under somebody else's rules. Mm -hmm. So I have chosen my path, one, to do what I want to do with my life, be a photographer, and two, an economic vehicle to do something I still like doing that will give me the financial benefit and security that I want also. It'll help me achieve all my goals. So how are you going about that? Who are your people on an We actually just started it. We've got four people that we've shown it to that we're considering it right now. So what are they doing? What are they doing? It's... I don't know if you really want to hear this. I'll start going for a while. You guys have kind of heard part of that. It's, it's an internet-based distributorship. Mm -hmm. uh, like I was talking about, all the same stuff you buy over and over and over and over. Mm -hmm. I mean... Anything, anything you find in your kitchen, your bathroom, your house, you know, carpet cleaners, water softeners, you name it. They just went online. Microsoft and IBM spent $35 million putting the site together. They've got, oh, what are they doing? They're averaging between 20 and 30 million hits a day on the website. And I, or not IBM, Microsoft signed a non-compete, so they're not going to come in and start their own. They helped build it, so they figured, fine, you know, they'll probably get a cut somewhere, but... We're not going to compete with it. So it's like Amazon is in books. It's it's so huge already. Who is possibly going to compete and knock them out? I mean, short right now. I mean, probably yeah, not. I was a good program programmer that will make well, the website look just as nice and neat. Anyway, they built this thing so well. They're fully capitalized. Okay. Right now, it's a $7 billion a year company with no debt. Not at all. Fully mm -hmm. capitalized with 10 warehouses around the country for distribution. They put the thing online. It's getting 20 to 30 million hits a day. 
What do you mean fully capitalized? Who's capitalizing? The they they built it from their garage. Who's they? And who who's capitalizing? The DeVos and Van Andel families. They built a business from their garage. It's what kills me about these things. It's like this this Cloud Nine bullshit. And what's where's the, the free company? Where is it from? Where's it Cloud Nine? You make a little bit of profit, you reinvest. You make a little bit of profit, you reinvest. It. You don't borrow. You don't get yourself so far in debt that you have to pay ninety cents of every dollar back to debt just well, to get rid of all. You're not doing that when you take debt out. Well, on a building or take a loan out on equipment. You're not okay. making any sense. But you're exaggerating it. And the point is, but you're the still money's coming from somewhere and you're paying the price somewhere. You just are. There is, this okay. is not some fantastic way out of the system. You manufacture okay. something for X. I'm sorry. You sell it for X plus one. You take that one, you reinvest it. You don't just keep it. You reinvest it. You build. So you're taking home nothing. Because yeah. you reinvest it. Basically. That's what she was saying. You're, okay. you're taking home nothing. Okay, in that model, let's call it X plus two. You manufacture for X, you sell it for X plus two, you keep one, you reinvest one. These guys made a living. They are in the ten wealthiest people in the country. Maybe it's the world, I don't know, but it's at least the country. Ten, I mean, it's, and it's debt-free. They built the business saying, we're not going to go into debt to do it. Yeah, it's going to take us longer. Yeah, it's going to take a, a, a long time to do this. But we're going to build it without debt. Period. The guy owns the Orlando Magic. I said, "Well, how are you going to finance this?" He said, "I write a check." To me, that, that sounds like someone who's going to try and build a business without any risk involved at all. And you don't do that. You don't. You don't get married to the woman of your dreams without making the first move and asking her out. Or yeah. you don't. You don't. You don't get past the fulcrum of a situation without mm -hmm. making see, the move. You're over. seeing all. You're seeing all the pitfalls. So, I mean, you're, you're smart. You see all the pitfalls of almost every. I'm business. just saying this stuff's been in existence maybe 20 years. 40. And the system that's. Well, if it's a seven. I mean, I'm having trouble just just believing in internet-based businesses. Well, think about it. If it's a seven billion dollar a year company that's growing every year that is debt-free, did they do something right? How is it debt free, Darren? Who's got the fucking money? Someone else the top. You're always did you? You're always paying someone else somehow. There's no way around. Yeah, but it. you're paying out less than you're making. They're taking in more revenue than they're spending. They get a little bit of profit. They reinvest. Some yeah, get a little bit of profit. So those guys are working for nothing. No. And the goodness of their hearts, they just had forty thousand. They could have stayed. No, they could have stayed, no, stayed right where they were and kept all the profit. Okay, right, we'll live okay, right here. Fine to make the no. system work, but where are they getting the money to buy the inventory? For you to buy the inventory? For Randy to buy the inventory? And for me to buy the inventory from Randy? Okay, so maybe, maybe, buy maybe they spent. Start with maybe they spent a little bit of money. You know, they spent two hundred, three hundred bucks to start oh, with. On, started with on. one thing, one little thing. Come on, man. We're talking I'm hypothetical numbers, that, Darren. Here. Mike, we're talking hypothetical numbers here. Yes, they spent more than two hundred, but they didn't go heavily into debt to start it. And if they so went into debt at all, they paid it off and stayed positive instead of accumulating any debt at all. And who it's says any more with overnight delivery that you have to maintain any type of inventory? Not going with Amazon. So what does it take to compete with Amazon, guys? You need to be well, you still need to have the, I mean, a nice okay. website. Right, but the programmer still has to negotiate the contracts with the publishers so, I mean, there's still some background. You just can't program HTML, website, start selling books, and then run down to Barnes & Noble and buy it, and then go out Why and not? ship it out. Why not? Because then, what's, what's different? What's different? That's what Barnes & Noble does. What? I wonder how much profit they make off that. Their website, website is failing. It's, it's no, wait. It took you 10 days to get what from where? You keep pointing at the couch. <laughs> you bought this couch on Amazon? Cool. No, I'm serious. I'm asking. What, oh, I ordered the CDs that two were over CDs there? and a book. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you yeah, got it on Amazon.com. Amazon. Cost me 50 bucks. Okay. Cost me six bucks in shipping, which I'm not going to sure about, but okay. it took 10 days to get here. Yeah, well, okay. So Mine took for You see, the 10 days. Somewhere. I'm sorry. Exactly. They don't. They don't. Ordering it from someone That's else. why they're spending $280 million a quarter to build warehouses. Because people think, God, it's taken 10 days to get my book. Fuck you. I'm not going to do this again. I got mine in three, so I was happy. If I got it in ten, I would be pissed and I would never go back. Mm -hmm. Because they're not doing it right. They're not giving me as a consumer what I want. And I want it in a reasonable time. If I had to wait ten days, I would never have gone back to Amazon.com. Period. Because they're not warehouse. That is their problem. They just bought a warehouse down in Coffeeville, Kansas for God knows how many millions of dollars because they don't have one. They need to have regional distribution centers 
where your order goes right to them, they stick it in the box the next day, and it's to you in two to three days. Customer service. If your customer service sucks, people aren't going to come back to you. That's why they're spending $280 million a quarter and losing money. Because one, it costs them so much to go find that book and get it to you. And two, they have to build warehouses so they can fix that problem. That's why Amazon is losing money hand over fist. And they are. But the expectation of profit is so great. People are buying stock as quick as they can get it. Venture capitalists are in it because they know this thing is probably going to make money. Because they've got a good idea, they've got a good plan going, they've got the right people involved, whatever, good market position, e-commerce is exploding, nah, 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 nah. the expectation is there for everybody who put money in, they're going to get it back. But right now, that system is not working. If you look at it right now, Amazon is a failing business. They're losing money and they're not delivering well. Well, I wouldn't say that. I'd say well, it's it, easy to compete. It would be fairly easy to compete with them, but I wouldn't say they're failing. Well, if you looked at it on paper, they're losing money, and they're not providing good customer service. They're spending money. I mean, they're playing flat out on the books. They're losing money, and it took you 10 days to get your CDs. That's bullshit to me. That is not good customer service. It's not good business. If you went to the grocery store and they said, okay, you can have these in three days. How many, orders are they getting, how many orders are they getting placed a day and how many orders are they filling a day? I mean, we got to think it's just an enormous amount. Oh, yeah. It's an enormous amount. I mean, how do you hit well, the ground what's running? What's it going to take for me to go to Barnes & Noble and Buzz that isn't going to have the two CDs I requested? I might have one of them. Mm -hmm. And the book, maybe it's, it's pretty new. So, yeah. I'm not bitching about the time. I'm just saying they don't have the warehouse. You're right, they and, don't. And people are talking like they should. But it's they hard don't. to compete with them. You could never hope to compete. Bullshit. And but they will. They will have the warehouses. Because I mean, customer service matters. matters. You guys talk about start your own business. Well, I'm not talking about starting a new Amazon.com. Why not? That's like starting a new Microsoft. You're up against some tough competition. Mm. I wouldn't want to do it. I'd rather compete with e toys than Amazon. I'd rather pick a niche like you know. KC Weddings. Yeah, something. Amazon, all that nobody's something doing. Small. It's just a big name, Caroline. Come on, well, you gotta know that. Instead of Amazon.com, but don't overlook the value of a big name. How do you compete? There's some kind of you perceived. You a big name. name Ask, wait, oh, that you takes just, years. You just become Ask. a big name? No, we're in the Model T era of the internet. Exactly. Ford was first on the line. How do you think anyone else came out? Ask code writers. Oldsmobile, Buick. Someone else started and said. They're doing that. It's not so fucking hard. I'm going to start doing it. And Amazon is doing succeed? anything incredibly hard. Did they all succeed? No. Did they all succeed? No. In but what's wrong with taking a shot at this? All I'm saying is I'm putting out ideas. I mean, there's more guys, conservative we're ways about to doing do this it. Stuff. Let's throw out some ideas. There's more conservative ways to do it. Conservative ain't going to get yeah. you where you guys want to be. Can get you where you want. Well, building from the basement. Definitely can. You know, I, these two guys start in their garage, and they're captains of a $7 billion a year company. Because they started in their garage. Yeah, it took 40 years. But you got to start from somewhere. You can't just go head to head with Amazon. So you're like, hey, we're going to kick your ass. If you ask any code writer, I mean any serious code writer, if Microsoft is really the best stuff, mm -hmm. huh, it's because they own 95% right. of the fucking market. They don't even write all their own no. stuff. They no. buy it. No. Yeah. They because buy they it control the others. market through yeah. marketing well, and yeah, just plain game. Everybody thinks Microsoft is the name because it's the recognized Large name. Large share is non So, you know, you're, you're talking about completely different things. You can have the best idea in the world, but you go against Microsoft. I mean, the guy has a room full of lawyers just waiting to pound your weenie ass when you come up with an idea. They will drive you into the ground and do whatever they do. All right, then what do we do, guys? I mean, an hour and a half ago, you guys are arguing for starting your own business. Mm -hmm. And that certain things would work. And not this. I'm just saying, I know. we're arguing in general about that. And I said, well, you're never going to have the time off. You're never going to have the salary. You know, one or the other. And if you don't have, if you don't have the time off, then you got the money. What are you going to do with the money? If you don't have the money and you got the time off, what are you going to do then? You're going to drive to fucking Colorado all the time? So we're arguing about that. And now we're sitting, now you guys are saying, well, there's no really valid business to start. We can't do this. We Just because do we're, we don't have ideas that we brought right. today doesn't yeah. mean that we're saying there's not well, valid okay. business. Okay. We're, okay. Also, okay. we're also talking, I think you're thinking of a business that all of us in this room... I'm not actually. I don't have any better ideas than anyone else. I don't. Okay. 
Well, I was just gonna start saying for myself. I, Lori and I what? have we have enacted our plan. Period. We're we're on our road. I don't have any better ideas. I'm just. So I mean this. I mean this was like this a forum. Let's talk about it. I think so. Trying to come up with an idea for what to do, I think you need to look inside and say, what do you really like to do? Yeah. I mean, and like ideally, what Darren just says, right. he loves photography. So what's he going to do? His plan includes photography for fun. He's going to be out doing what he loves yeah. to do and making money. Just in a just in a utopian world, what would I like to do for fun? What would be fun to do? Something like Robbie's doing, coupled <laughs> with a climbing gym. Yeah. But realistically, I don't have the experience. I do not have the, the knowledge, the technique to do what Robbie does, and I don't have the money to start a climbing gym. So the things I want to do that sound fun to me, there are other barriers in the way. I am not going to walk in and talk anybody into spending the money to capitalize a climbing gym. Well, they're going to say, "What's your, what's your knowledge? What's your expertise?" And you're going, "Personally, mm -hmm. I've been climbing. Plan. I thought it'd be kind of cool." <laughs> yeah, but. Um, yeah, I mean, you, if we got a business plan together, it, I think the market position is perfect right now for somebody opening a climbing gym just south of here. Somewhere in the center of Johnson County, easy to get to with good visibility. Mm -hmm. But you've got to have the money. And you got to have the money. And none and of you us know to, the venture capitalists. You have to know if it's a good de idea or not. You can't just say, yeah. hey, we want to do that. I think it's a great idea. You have to say, okay. you got to do the market research. What's the demographics? Who climbs? How much money are they willing to spend? How many people can we get in the gym a day? How much revenue will that make? What are our expenses? Mm -hmm. Is it red? Is it black? Right. If it's red, you don't do it. If you it's can't make money, you don't do it, which yeah. might be why nobody's doing it. And personally, nobody will take me seriously, so I didn't even, it hasn't even crossed my mind to do it by myself. So are you guys... But I still think straight. it's possible. I mean, are you saying that you don't mind the initial couple of years worth of time input? See, that's the I'm talking about utopian. It sounded good to own a climb exactly. gym and have somebody else manage it where I can right. leave. Well, but okay, that doesn't gym, necessarily work. Regardless of the business type, if it's something you like doing, personally, to be honest with you, I fell in love more with the idea of being in business yeah. for myself with, with you or with yeah. whoever decided to go in on that finally, then I'd be. Fucking un fucking happy, teaching people to climb all the time and never having time off. I'd go nuts. Exactly. I'd be dead in my apartment. And that's why I'm saying. That's why I'm talking utopia. So I would like to own a climbing gym where I can work as much as I want, play around as much as I want, and have somebody else I trust that I know is not going to screw me. That's going to be there because they have some kind of stake in it. It's right. worth it for them to stay there. You see, we're we're talking a lot of utopian ideals here. That may or may not ever work in but anywhere. We're, we're looking. I mean, by definition, it sounds like we're all looking for something that's going to be like this. Well, what are you looking for? What's your, I'm not, I'm not what's your utopia? Hey, what's your utopia? Without even saying a business. Are you after time off, flexibility? More money. More money. money. No. Because we're kind of all at different places. Look what I lease. No, I think. I mean, I bought the camera, and th those are the first two big bursts I've made in three years, and no, I, I really think I'd, the money thing is not a big deal with me anymore. It used to be huge. So you want the freedom?